Could you have imagined taking Brian's virginity? No is a short answer. <laughs> I think you would have like a chastity belt and I'd have to like do the Da Vinci code on it or something. And how do I break the code to get to the old man's chode? <laughs> you know, not that you have a chode. It's pretty decent. Business at the front, party at the back. <laughs> Why are you single? I spend a lot of my time in the trees, talking to birds, playing with my chopper. Time to get down to earth and find a real bird. My jungle, Jane. Can you spell Clitoris. You don't get this on Countdown, do you? <laughs> I love a comfortable body. So you'd be put off, would you, by a guy who's, like, constantly in the gym? Yes. The only thing I squat for is the champagne at the bottom of a shelf. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Round of applause from Orange. <laughs> cock is king, mate. Literally, cock is king. And, do you know, say. I'll give that one a crown. <laughs> I like to call it a Gina. Why's that? Well, it's just like the last part of a vagina, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so you might like to call it a nickname. In Panama, they use the word spider for a vagina. I know, right? Do what? <laughs> In Venezuela, they call a vagina a piggy bank. <laughs> <laughs> We've got laughs in the background. <laughs> My personal favourite, though, Dimitri, in Japan, the hairy bean paste bum. Belly buttons are, I think, the second window to the soul. Uh, I think it's connected to all of your body. So after you have sex, you can play with their belly button. But the ass can be so mesmerising. Is that the third gateway to the soul? <laughs> Say hello to Nemea. What's happening? <laughs> what's happening? Well, do you know what? You've got your bollocks out on TV. <laughs> what's happening? See you later. See you later, boy. It's <laughs> one of them, win some, lose some. There's plenty more clunge in the sea. Oh, tongue piercing. Could you imagine that, just gliding down your shaft? Yeah, I could. <laughs> the nipple piercings, you like to play with them. I put them in my mouth. Tastes Ew. like house keys. No place like home. <laughs> Why are you saying goodbye to Orange? Oh, it's his feet. Oh, yeah. Orange, it's the so feet of let you down. <laughs> Take your scampy fry toes out of here. I'm shook. I thought it was jizz. These are enormous plums. I love her tattoos as well. I don't know what this this little character is. Crying. That's when she had a tits pierced. It's, it's got a couple of tattoos as well. I do love oh, a tattoo. Oh, spin round for yeah, us. The, the, is that the moon? Yeah, that's, that's the, the moon. moon. Well, let me see Uranus. <laughs> I think she can handle herself on a mountain. What are you making of the testicles? One looks much higher than the yeah. other. Yeah, I've had someone like that before as well. Well, sometimes they yeah, kind of like, you know, yeah. sometimes they get caught up there, don't yeah. they? Are you a sex fan? Oh, I love sex. Do you? Yeah, no, I do, yeah. My um, dad walked in once. No! <laughs> I mean, I know you're close to your dad, but what happened? <laughs> I just literally led there, turned in that I was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so you just lay dead? Yeah. What did your dad do? <laughs> he was like, oh, sorry, and just walked back out. That is so <laughs> embarrassing. So do you think you could play dead on that penis? What do you make of Nemea's vulva? It's... Nice. <laughs> Good. So how would you treat her like a lady? Who do you want to go to first? Hello. I would uh, wine and dine ya and 69 ya. <laughs> yeah, confident. Uh, yeah. You're meeting straight men. Unfortunately, yeah. I call it gay for a day. So they're not really straight. Well, I mean, spaghetti straight until it's wet, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about an uh, English nerd? who's full Italian stallion from the waist down. <laughs> Nothing worse than meeting somebody that you think ticks all the boxes, then yeah. you take their clothes off, they've got an absolute bush took a trial down then. <laughs> Women are so beautiful and so intelligent that it's so difficult yeah. to try and talk to them, whereas men, you give them a wink and they're yours. Or a wank. A wink or a wank. Both works. Yeah. She's very animalistic, like myself. Bit of a tiger. I like to hit it hard, I guess. <laughs> hit what hard? Uh, you know, just real sex, really. OK. The beautiful <laughs> penis. It's just so big. <laughs> it's going to cause some damage. Yeah, literally, <laughs> that's the plan. I call it a weapon of ass destruction. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. Is that his knee? I like right. that she's trying to capture my shape. I've done a couple of dates where I've drawn them and... First date? Yeah. It is really intimate. Really intimate. And... Would you let me draw you naked? Would that be something you'd... Um, a bit, like... I can't say it's really yeah. necessarily my cup of tea. It's 
definitely not something that I would be doing with him on a first date or any time in the future. <laughs> Which Prince Charming are you going towards? Orange. That is an impressive penis. Oh, my goodness. Oh, helicopters. Oh, my goodness. I'm not sure that happens in Cinderella. No, it's like pick and mix. What about the pubes? I like to keep myself neat and tidy and like a dolphin. Smooth. Yeah, no Smooth friction. And wet. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. So, Smooth. what are you like out on a date? So, <laughs> I'm known for like burping. Can you do one now? <laughs> That's really rubbish. <laughs> I kind of want a hug and a cock ring. Yeah. yeah. Why is it green? She's a gorgeous girl, but her neck isn't really that appetising. It's not what I normally go for. A little bit of hair. I don't mind it, cos it's not going to get wrapped around all my piercings, much. is it? There's nothing worse than pulling them out of your tongue bar True. and stuff. And again, I don't think that is a princess moment. Talk to me about the balls. I quite like caressing a little ball when you're giving a bit of head, do you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, just, just like, cupping? Yeah, I mean, just a little hold and then like, pop it in your mouth, right out. <laughs> yeah, well, being a wrestler, there's a lot of power involved. So, at uh, this one time, it was all going pretty well. Yes. I was putting the power down. Right. And then slipped out. And then, for me, it was like punching a shark on the nose, banged against the wrong part, you know? But for her, it, it, it sort of bled after that. So she had a vaginal tear? Uh, yeah. Oh, Ian. I took her, I sent her a moon pig card to... to, <laughs> to, uh, to <laughs> what? <laughs> so not... Not flowers, not chocolates. <laughs> Amazing. I, oh, God, I love that. I'm definitely down for, for date number two. Yeah. No. 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 I'm so sorry. That's a shame. That's all right. You're so sound, but mm. I just feel like I should want to pounce on you like a Black Panther and, like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I'm it. not getting that. that. I'm not getting that. I'm sorry. As you know, Kelly is no stranger to a sex toy. So if you were a sex toy, what would you be? And why? Who do you want to go to first? Red. Red. Okay, so if I was a sex toy, I'd be one of the remote variety, because I know I can stimulate you from a distance without even touching you. Ooh, I like that. I like the confidence. I like her voice. It's quite posh. <laughs> OK, who do you want to go to next? Pink. Pink. Come on, then. What sort of sex toy are you, fella? I'd probably be a bullet, because I'm short and sweet. Okay. Does that appeal to you? Oh, yeah, definitely. The accent definitely does. Well, which leaves us with our beautiful orange. Yes. What sex toy would you be, orange, and why? I would be a love egg because I'm fun and always on the go. Ooh, I like that. She's got a very nice, delicate voice. There once was a lady called Anna who was always the picture of glamour. But I gave her a shock and showed her my cock and all the camera crew had to fan her. I haven't seen your cock yet, we'll have well, to see. There we go. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. Thank you very much indeed, Not Carlo. A